it's, it's the island rhythms. Hey. I'm so here for it. Leanne joins us now. Hey. <laughs> Welcome, to the show, yeah. Welcome. You're having an amazing time at the moment. You've mm. won so many awards over the years, but mm. just last month it was so good to see you winning the Glamour Musician of the yes. Year Award, um, especially being recognised as a solo artist, having been with the girls for so long. Mm -hmm. But there is another award that's very dear to you that holds a more special place in your heart. Yes, my honorary doctorate that I won. Yes. Yes. Hello. Well. No, I'm even saying that, yeah. Um, I remember when I got the email for it as well and I just cried. I was like, this is incredible. And uh, yeah, for some of the work that I've done with my foundation um, regarding racial equality. Mm. So yeah, to be recognised for that work is, is incredible. Yeah, it is. Well, well, actually on that, I mean, you explored racism, didn't you, in the music industry, uh, in the BBC Three documentary called Race, Pop and Power. Mm. Uh, and you speak to some other black female artists, there you are, there about kind of their own experiences yeah. as well in the industry. Now, you're, you're sharing your own story now about it. You know, why, why was it important mm -hmm. for you to, you know, to do that? Yeah, so I touched on some of my experiences um, in the documentary, but I felt like there was just so much more that I had to get into and dig into. Um, it's a big part of my career, you know, my struggles with race, and mm. I really wanted to get in, in depth with it and hopefully inspire some people and, and relate to some people, you know? Yeah. In the book, you talk about that feeling of losing your identity and feeling unwanted um, during your time in Little Mix. Why was that? I think there was many times where I just felt less than. Um, there would be times where the fans would walk past me. Um, I wasn't getting the screams like the other girls were. Um, there was one time when um, we had a fan encounter and she asked me to take the picture and it was just like just not being seen yeah. yeah and it just went on for so long um so yeah i think that's why i wanted to do the doc i wanted to write the book um really get into these experiences and and share it yeah story i mean you kind of touched on it there but you talk well as well about being conscious about your appearance mm -hmm. whilst whilst being in the band and one photo shoot in particular kind of just rang alarm bells with you didn't it yeah um so i remember we were really excited to do this shoot and then we got the pictures back and they changed both mine and jade's nose and i think at the time as well like i wanted a nose job because i was comparing myself and feeling like i had to have these eurocentric features you know mm. and Oh, God, I'm so happy I didn't get that nose job. Yes. <laughs> because, oh, my goodness. But, yeah, I mean, I've come a long way from that girl. Yeah. Um, but things like that that were happening, you know, all added to that experience. Mm. Yeah. It, it's a lot, isn't it, when you look back and, and think, thank goodness I had the strength, because that is going to have an effect on lots of other little girls mm -hmm. who are reading those magazines and looking mm. at that. Yep. And talking of the fans, you say in the book that there's this concert, you describe this concert in Brazil that was... A beautiful turning point for you. Yeah, I think, yes, yeah, so the chapter's called Awakening and I speak about Brazil. Um, and for me, it was the rec oh, what do I say? The wake up call I kind of needed to mm. validate everything that I was feeling. Like for the first time ever, we were performing to a predominantly black crowd and they were screaming for me. Like they were chanting my name and I'd never ever Amazing. had that. And I traveled the world and I'd never had it. And I remember after the show, I just, I was hysterical to, with Jade and two of my dancers. And just like, why have I not felt this before? Like, yeah. why is this the first time I'm feeling this? And, and it just <clears throat> made it all real to me. I was like, this hasn't been in my head the whole time. Amazing, yeah. You know what, you, uh, you, you've been kind of loved all over the world as a band, as a group. Mm. And there'll be so many kind of like young black girls who did idolise you, even like in this country. I know you felt that love in Brazil, but I'm sure yeah. it, it would have been here too. And they might grow up to wanting to yeah. be a Liam Pinnock <laughs> or, you know, in a, in a girl group. It is like mentoring part of your future is, you know, kind of guiding these young girls, in particular young yeah. black girls in the music industry at all? Oh my gosh, definitely, yeah. And like, I'm raising children myself as well and I want them to look at their mum and think, yes, like, your resilience. Yeah, and, oh, oh, God, God, I can't even. <laughs> don't, because you're going to make me emotional. Um, but yeah, you mentioned like, resilience. That's the a, resilience, yeah. like the, the power and just taking it and owning it because yeah. My race is not holding me back, you know, and I want to show that to them. Um, and my mum and my dad, like, 
showed it to us in their way and yeah i'll carry that one yeah. love it and yeah. you can't be what you can't see you keep paving the way exactly. mm. um will the little ones follow any footsteps have they got moves have they got uh, pipes uh, on them uh, or, or their dads right. uh, footballer as well. <laughs> <laughs> or their dads, yeah. well they actually love to sing yeah and they love my song and they're always like see mama dancing see mama singing like yeah, they're obsessed, so... They'll come over soon, don't they? Yeah, we know. <laughs> <laughs> Check on my um, Solo career, got to quickly talk to you about yes. that as well. You're embarking on that. I mean, I'm sure there's a bit of excitement, nervousness. How are you feeling mm. about it all? No, it's been incredible. I think the songs have been re um, received so well. I've just been loving this journey, you know? It's, yeah. I can go in and write whatever I want to write about and say whatever I want to say and yeah. just make the music that really resonates with me, so... Love it. Yeah, keep smashing it. Just yeah. keep being creative and having fun. That's what it's all about. Exactly. It's amazing to do. Thank well you done, so Leanne. much. Oh, thank Leanne. you. Honestly. Uh, and Leanne's memoir called Believe is out tomorrow. And you can watch her documentary Race, Pop and Power on iPlayer right now.